The countdown to the Commonwealth Games is officially underway with the Queen launching the baton relay from Buckingham Palace. The baton will travel around the globe before arriving on the Gold Coast in time for the opening ceremony next April. Europe correspondent Lisa Miller reports. On a route normally taken by royal carriages, Paralympian Kurt Fernley rolled in with the baton at Buckingham Palace. Kurt Fernley! You couldn't get too many just so differing locations from Buckingham Palace to the Goldie, but um, look, I think that if you don't get there during the Gold Coast, you will miss one of the really unique sporting events of the, of the time. Even the sun got on board, delivering one of the warmest days this year. This is considered the curtain raiser for the Games. Not that the crowd knew much about it. Why are you standing here? Oh, we see so many people and then we think we should go here. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Why are you standing here then? <laughs> I don't know. It's tourists. Queen Elizabeth's message for athletes will be read at the opening ceremony at the end of the 230,000 kilometre journey. Uh, because the reality is it's coming. The baton is coming and, uh, and by the time it lands and we've got 100 days in Australia, all of Australians is going to be so proud about uh, the biggest event in Australia in this decade. Once fierce rivals on the track, Anna Mears and Victoria Pendleton left the palace together before the baton trundled off down the mall in a combi van. There's a certain Australian touch to this baton relay, but now at least it is on its way. The next stop is Africa. Then it will be 388 days of being passed from thousands of hands until it arrives in Australia on Christmas Eve. It's unlikely the Queen will be there in April to welcome it on the Gold Coast, despite the hopes of organisers. Well, she wouldn't have asked how the preparations were going unless she was seriously thinking about it. So we're, we remain like that, don't we? <laughs> we, we, do, do, we, do, we? We do, we do. The event was held on Commonwealth Day, where Australians again featured at Westminster Abbey and the emphasis was on unity and cooperation. Lisa Miller, ABC News, London.